to the first tunnel and on the other side an unforgettable run past. has only two tunnels on it and as we pass through the second one the locomotive blows off which is in unexpected peril for the cameraman. The camera never quite recovered from this path. some gaps in the tall timbers, we catch a brief view of the valley. This was one of the many repaired sections of the track. One in 30 grade ends as we pass the brake landmark. Here trains were stopped by handbrakes to be wound down before they started down the long grade. On a one in 60 grade is timber top, which was the first crossing loop, but it was cut out many years before the line closed. On the 43 miles of line, there are 4, 7 and 115 8 chain curves. the main Glenray to Luana Road. slow down to pass over one of the many major washaways that had to be filled in.
As the land levels out and becomes clearer, we are nearing Moulton. crossing of Mole Creek, special attention was taken as 5069 eases over the bridge as the line was closed 14 years ago. The bridge had been inspected but no chances were taken. Water was taken here as the Mole Creek tank was still unserviceable. It's the diesel's turn. It has the heaviest axle load in the museum's collection. If the bridge will hold her weight without a large deflection, then it is in reasonable condition. As you can see, all is okay. This procedure was repeated on the next two Mole Creek crossings. This is crossing number two. The last bridge is a different design with a steel centre span. After the 42 class clears it, we are off, non-stop for Luana.
thriving township of Luana is in sight. After seven years of negotiations and back-breaking work reopening the line, 5069 steams into Luana Station. This is a scene that many people said was impossible. After a while, 4206 arrives to share in the glory. section needs to be cleared, some sleep is renewed and a burnt out bridge to be replaced before that great day when 5069 can steam into Dorigo Yard.